A scam alert you'll only see on Local 10. The Broward Sheriff's Office out with a warning about a new scheme you need to know about. They say people are getting tricked into believing there is a warrant out for their arrest. Local 10 Syrah Onwar spoke to one victim and joins us live with the exclusive story. Syrah. So Janice, we've told you about these scams that specifically target grandparents, but this one could really hit anyone. I spoke to a young woman today who at first was just going about a particularly busy morning. The next thing you know, she gets a, a call from what looks like law enforcement telling her she's about to be arrested. And they said that it was the Broward County Sheriff's Department and that there were three warrants out for my arrest. Taylor Mandel tells me her phone rang on a Friday morning as she's rushing to an important doctor's appointment. The caller tells her she missed jury duty and now she's in big trouble. She's skeptical, but the caller knows a little too much about Taylor, enough to make her panic. He, oh, he had my social security number. That's why I thought it was real because I'm like, how would they have this information? While on the phone, she Googles the phone number. It pops up as the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. If you don't come down to the Sheriff's Department, they are going to pick you up in a police car and bring you down to the station. Here's where the caller starts the real scam, telling Taylor she owes thousands of dollars for a bond. I'm going to have you go to your nearest Walgreens or CVS. There's going to be a kiosk there. When you get there, you have to stay on the line with me the whole time. And I don't know how the legal system works. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a police officer. When you're in this high stress situation, right. you're not really thinking straight. While still on the phone, Taylor texts a family member about it. She tells Taylor it's a scam, even adding her to the call to confront the scammer who continues to insist he is with the sheriff's office. Taylor finally hangs up. She files a police report, posts the incident on her Instagram account where her followers flood her inbox saying they would have fallen for the scam and thanking her for the warning. But when you're in that panic and it sounds so real, it's hard to differentiate what's real and what's not. BSO says they're aware of these scams and the spoofed phone numbers leading back to actual law enforcement agencies, telling residents a sheriff's office will never call and ask for money, and the calls should be reported to law enforcement. While Taylor is in her 20s and caught the scam before sending money, phone scams like this, often targeted at senior citizens, account for $13 million in losses in Miami-Dade County, according to the FBI. Last month, we told you about Lazaro Suarez, who was conned out of 8 k by someone calling and claiming to be his grandson, saying he had to pay the cash to a lawyer to get his grandson out of trouble. That scammer caught on camera taking the money in person. Now, Miami-Dade County reported 650 of these scam incidents in the past year. Broward County has not yet released data on how many of these scams they've seen here in Broward County. That is the very latest live outside the BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale. Syrah Onworth, Local 10 News. Troubling trend indeed. All right, thank you, Syrah.